Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, we've just got some brand new product that just came into the store. Uh, and if you're a World War II armor modeler, I think you're going to be very interested in these products. So, let's get started. Well, the first thing I want to share with you guys today is something that I am super excited about. This is something that I've talked about for years and years with uh, modeling friends to say why has no one come out with a one-to-one -one scale you know World War II track link especially some of the smaller tanks like a Panzer 3 or 4 because it's not massive and now we have one this is a brand new soon to be released kit from Tory factory and it's just what I was saying it's a German Panzer 3 slash 4 40 centimeter track now the one that they've chose to do is a mid-type track, so as you can see here, it's got a solid horn for the guide horn on it. And the Germans actually made quite a few different Panzer III, IV tracks during World War II, uh, from the early ones that were a little bit smaller track to these uh, regular size that had either hollow horn or solid horn or a few other little variations on it. So hopefully we might see a few more of different tracks in the near future. Okay, so now let's open this up. Now I've already opened up the box already and pulled the parts out out of their bags and stuff like that to, uh, to share with you guys. First of all, there is a top and bottom portion of the track that actually fits together very, very nicely. Nice and tight on it here, almost clicks together. Obviously we do have to glue it and that's another important thing that I want to share with you guys. I actually took and experimented with this. Wasn't sure if this was going to be ABS or regular styrene took a little bit of Tamiya's regular orange lid glue and put a little bit on there and it did start to melt it so we can use regular or Tamiya or any type of modeling glue that you know for regular styrene plastic it doesn't have to be for ABS so that's going to be a lot easier to put together we don't have to use super glue which sometimes can make a mess regular cement will work on this so like I was saying here's the top and bottom there is got a little extra light on here we do see the the texture in there as well. The, the second piece we want to show you here is the guide horn and it's a, a A and B side as well. Plus there's also some, it appears to be about 16th scale Panzer 3 4 track on here as well as a little hammer. Hey everyone, future Andy here. I looked through the box a little bit after I was just filming that little section and found out they're doing a limited edition uh, piece of track that will have this figure inside of it made in resin. So that is why there is a hammer and little tiny scale pieces of track that come on the regular sprue. And then the ends of the guide pin because this actually does come with uh, the pin inside of it. So you can put multiple pieces of track together. In fact the company was send, sent us out three pieces of track so we're going to build up all three of them and pin them together and weather them and put them up and there's a nice little display piece. So we have our end cap here and then the other side of the track that has like the bent piece of wire in it to keep the track from sliding off or the pin from sliding off the track I should say. Now the next thing I want to share with you guys too is this is a, uh, a soon to be release sheet that they put inside the actual kit and <laughs> wow super super excited about this too because they're going to do all kinds of different tracks in the very near future. So we're going to get a Sherman track, a T-48 with the, with the rubber chevrons, a Tiger track, a late Tiger track. We're going to get an M1A1 T-158 track, Bigfoot, so for all the M1A1's fans. And then we're going to get a T-34 track. Wow, this is going to be incredible. And of course, you know, if they sell as well as I think they're going to sell, we're going to probably see even a lot more different track pieces in the very near future right after this. Now, I do plan on carrying them in my store and in the on our online store as well, andyshq.com. Don't know anything about prices or anything yet or when they're actually going to be released. These just showed up just now, and I wanted to get the video out for you guys to show you because, I'm, like I said, super excited about this. I'm going to get these built up. This should be nothing to build it up. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll glue them all together. We'll obviously have to go and sand all of the little edges here. This is where the part connects to the tree. And we'll get all those glued together, sanded. And then we'll try to do some texturing on here a little bit too. Maybe we can do some primer and do a little stippling on it to give it a little bit more texture even that. Or if you want to make one that looks like a brand new track. I guess you can just do this, paint it, put a little weathering on it, and you're ready to go. 
So like I said, this track should be out fairly soon because obviously we have full box art and the and completed kits that are being sent out right now. I, what I've done here is I've just put some uh, tape on the edges here to hold it together and we slid one of the pins in and it'll give you an idea how cool this thing really is. Okay, so now we have full one-to-one -one scale tracks coming out. As you've seen in a previous video, we have one-to-one -one scale ammunition coming out from World War II. What do you think would be the next cool thing you'd like to see them produce? Um, like a road wheel maybe for a Panzer III IV or you know some tools that came off of the actual tanks all done up in plastic of course so let me know down in the comments down below I'd be interesting to hear what you guys think they should make next and since we're talking about uh, real tank parts and other things you might want to see produced down the road I'm really excited to tell you guys again too that we've convinced Wrighton Publications to do another limited reproduction of their three of their most popular books they have. One on the Panther, one on the Tiger, and one on the Heavy pan uh, Tigers, which meaning like the King Tiger, Yag Tiger, and then the Elephants. And about three and a half years ago, they reissued this one right here, and it sold out so fast, it sold out just a matter of a couple of days before it even arrived in the United States. And that was it. And it was really tough to get a hold of after that. So we've convinced them to do another uh, run of these books, and all three of them will be arriving in the United States at our warehouse at andyshhq.com. You'll be able to go on there and pick them up there. You can actually pre-order them right now. And some other really good news, too, for all of my European watchers, we've also worked with Model Balconig, which I'll put their web address down below. You'll be able to pick these up on Model Balconig's website. That way you won't have to pay the ridiculous shipping that was required to get them from the United States over to, to Europe or Germany or any other parts of Europe. So definitely go on there, you'll be able to get them. These are retailing for $45, so they're a great price for lots and lots of valuable information. And what I'll do right now is I'll take the Panther and I'll kind of open this up and just show you what is inside this book. So in the beginning there's going to be some history of the book and actually show you how thick they are. Hardcover, really high quality paper as well on this. So in the beginning you're going to see lots of pictures of the actual real tanks in battle, some history of tanks, and then it moves right into lots of internal shots of the tanks at the factories as they were producing them. So you've got like the, the runs of them boring out all the different parts, the wheels, building up the hulls just like some great pictures like this. In fact, this was one of the original pictures I used to build the diorama we were building the uh, Panther Work Factory. Kind of used that as a, uh, a base of it. And then right on down to all super detailed photos of the actual components. So like a muzzle brake, that might be actually kind of a cool thing that if someone was to make up too. A muzzle brake in a one-to-one -one scale wouldn't be too large, you know, maybe about that big, but something certainly doable in plastic. And then just as we go through here, just like I said, shot after shot after shot of just detailed photos of the actual real, real vehicles. And like I said, they have one on the Panther, the Heavy Tigers, and then the regular Tigers. They all retail for $45, so they're a screaming deal, I think. I've had these books now, the original versions of them, for years and years, and always go back and look up anytime I'm starting to work on anything, whether it be a Panther or any of the other heavies. One other quick thing I wanted to share with you guys as well. These turned up at our warehouse for andyshq.com, but I haven't gotten one here in the store yet, but I wanted to tell you about them. So Pig Models, you know the company who just built up the uh, King Tiger and the regular Tiger one-to-one -one scale shells, they've also done a Russian 76.2. And as you can see right here, it's definitely an unusual looking shell. It is one to one scale, so it's about, uh, I'd say probably about two and a half feet long. And it's just a couple of simple parts that you can glue together, paint up, and then have a nice replica of a Russian shell as well. So like I said, they are available on our website, and I'll have them here in the store. And as soon as I get them in the store, I'll build one up. I won't do a review on that kit, but we'll build it up and kind of do a, a you know a show and tell type thing once it's built and painted on it. So if you want to you can go on to the website and take a closer look at that right now. So there you go guys there is a quick look at some really cool products that are coming out onto the market. Uh, I want to thank you guys as always for watching and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.